Not sure where to start with your wedding planning? Start with my first four tips to get your wedding planning off to a flying start. For the best wedding planning advice, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a new video every Tuesday. If you're stumped with where to start with your wedding planning, by the end of this video, you'll be ready to take action and get your wedding planning underway. I've helped hundreds of brides, so now it's time for me to help you. So here's my first four steps to planning your wedding. Step one, guess numbers. Without guess numbers, you're not gonna know what size venue you're gonna be looking at, and you're gonna find it really difficult to get the ball rolling. You're also gonna find it really hard to work out a budget. So the best thing to do is to sit down and get that guest list going. Once you've got those guest numbers, you'll be able to either eliminate a lot of venues or open up a lot of venues. If you've got a wedding that's gonna to cater for 80 guests as opposed to 200 guests, that will split your wedding venue list down the line because some wedding venues will be too big, others will be too small. So guest list get that down, then you'll be able to move on to the next step. Step two, budget. If you haven't got a budget, don't go and start looking at anything. You need to sit down with your partner and you need to work out what your realistic budget is. So whether that's savings that you've got, whether family members are kindly gifting you some money, or whether you need to sit down and work out how long it's gonna take to save you need to work out what a realistic budget is gonna be because you don't want to be going and looking at venues or have some perfect wedding dreams to realize that you don't have a budget to match. So sit down and work that budget out. Comment below and let me know if you're thinking intimate wedding or are you thinking big 200 guest wedding? I'd love to know what you're thinking for your wedding day. Step three, location. Are you thinking of having a wedding that is within an hour's journey for you and your guests? Are you thinking of having a wedding that is perhaps a three hour drive for guests? Are you thinking of getting married abroad? These are all things that you need to consider before you actually start searching for venues. If you're thinking of going abroad, you obviously don't want to have a load of UK venues on your search list. You also want to consider if your guests are going to travel. If you've got some elderly people in your wedding party that you really want to be there, then perhaps going abroad isn't for you. Perhaps even a long drive isn't for you. So working at a location that suits you and your guests is definitely key before you go on the search for your suppliers. It will also end up a little bit cheaper if you have local suppliers because they're obviously not having to travel as far. Step four, my final step for you today. Now, step four is date. This one's a tricky one because you might have an ideal date in mind. It might be something that's special to you. Perhaps it was the first time that you met. Perhaps it was the first time you kissed. Perhaps it was the date that your fiance proposed to you and you want to get married on that date at a later time. Perhaps it's your birthday and so forth. So do have an idea of a date in mind, but don't be too upset if the venue doesn't have the availability for it. Venues get booked up really far in advance and sometimes not everything is available. However, it's also a nice idea to have a month in mind, not necessarily just a set date. If the date is really what you want, you might just have to book quite far in advance, a year or two, so that you can get that special date. It's good to think about month two. So perhaps May is a really nice time of year that you'd like to get married. May is all about peonies, and a lot of people love peonies, and therefore they choose to get married in May because they want peonies at their wedding. Bear in mind, if it's a public holiday, Bear in mind if there's more people likely to be on holiday, for example, the school summer holidays, or if it's over Christmas or Easter break. These are all things you need to factor in when you're thinking about your date. Once you've worked out these first four steps, you're then gonna be ready to go and start looking at venues, which is so exciting. Make sure you check out my video on 30 questions to ask your wedding venue, so that when you go, you are primed and ready to make sure that you get the best information and everything that you need to know 
from your wedding venue so that you can nail the perfect venue for you without coming away thinking, is it gonna be right? And did I find out everything I need? Now you know exactly where to start with your wedding planning. Why not join a community of other brides just like you? I've got a secret society where I share free wedding planning advice for brides to help navigate this unknown territory. Check out the link in the box below so that you can join my society of brides and get even more information on your wedding planning. If you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and don't forget to share it with any fellow brides that you think it might help. Why not comment in the box below and let me know how it helped you and any questions you've got with your wedding planning.